How difficult is it to convert a hypergolic-based moon human lander to a cryogenic one? Recently a study performed by Aerojet Rocketdyne indicated that in order to achieve a 2024 landing using storable propellants will be required. Given that NASA is looking to reduce program risk in any way possible to achieve 2024, seen in the removal of Gateway from the necessary path, it seems likely that they will favor a hypergolic-based lander if it can reduce risk of missing the 2024 date. However NASA is also looking to make the architecture sustainable, and part of the requirements of the HLS is that it can be iterated upon to make it a sustainable way of reaching the surface by 2028. From what I can tell cryogenic fuels are better for this, as they are able to be produced by in situ resource utilization ISRU. Though this is speculative, so could a lander system be designed initially using hypergolic fuel switch to a cryogenic fuel cycle like Hydrolarks without major redesigns of the craft. There will likely be significant differences in the required tankage, if nothing else. The paper lunar lander conceptual design shows a comparison between landers with similar payload requirements and different engine systems. Note the different in tankage and propellant weights for the two options. Enter image description here.